In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to build upon Lorna's tip from last week where she used the size table calculation to count the number of marks in a card. I'm going to show you how to do this with the table calculation. I'm also going to show you how to combine these four big numbers into a single sheet. So let's have a look at that. Well, first off, let's see what Lorna's visualization does. So when you Doesn't have the, okay, doesn't have the interactivity on there. Um, okay, I'll just show you. I've downloaded the workbook. And what it does is if I click on a team, you can see how many players are in that team. You can lasso players and it reduces the count. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and unhide all of the sheets. And let's start by looking at, we know the total number of players is the one we want to look at. And what you notice is Lorna put a polygon on here so that nothing shows up in the shelf. I'm going to change that actually to text. And now you see I get uh, I get 382 marks in the view, and I can tell that because of this down here on the bottom left on my um, on my footer. So uh, there we go. Okay. So how are we going to do this? So I'm just going to call this uh, total number of players. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a level of detail expression that counts the distinct number of name and team combinations. The reason I need to do the combinations is to account for any players that might have the same name. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to give me everybody. OK, so if I go ahead and put this into the onto the uh, detail shelf and put it up here next to Lorno's. And hit OK, you'll see I get. Uh, the same number as because every player is shown. Now pay attention to this second number. If I start filtering uh, out some teams, you'll notice how the number at the level of detail expression does not change. That's because we um, don't have the right fields in context. So let's go ahead and uh, first off, let's remove the size shelf because we don't need that anymore. And, I can, and then let's go ahead and remove team name and I'm sorry, remove player name and team name. Now we're left with one mark. So I'm gonna put the, uh, move my text there. I'm going to just uh, reset the title. It doesn't really matter. And then um, if I look back at her dashboard, we have total number of players, missed tackles, tackles, percent of tackles. Okay. So I'm going to go back over to my total number of players and go to her missed tackles. And I'm gonna drop that on top of the 382. So it says, gives me the show me. Okay, so now we've got our two numbers. I'm going to move that to the um, to the column, move measure names to the column shelf, and I'm going to swap the order of those around because she's got total number of players first, and then she's got missed tackles, and then tackles, which I'm going to put on the measure value shelf, and the percent of missed tackles. I believe that's the way she did it. So let's go back and double check on her dashboard. Yep, percent of mixed tackles. Okay, so if we go back to our total number of players sheet. We can now also copy measure names to the text shelf. From there, we can hide the header on our measure names and do a bit of cleanup. Now, I know I haven't fixed the issue yet that we're talking about, but that's okay. So I'm going to insert my measure values, and I'm going to delete the second one. Okay, so now on this one, maybe I want to make this, uh, let's just make it Tableau uh, book, and let's make it like maybe, yeah, nine points fine. And then we want to make this one maybe tabloid medium, maybe 16 point, something like that. Okay, so now we have all of our big numbers in one view. And I'm going to go ahead and center align those and align them to the top. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is do a bit of cleanup. So I'm going to format the view and get rid of my row dividers because I don't want to see those lines going across. And now I've got tooltips as well. So I'm going to go to my tooltip shelf and remove those. Okay, great. So let me make this a bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So now if I start filtering the players or the teams, you'll see all the other numbers update, but the, uh, the number total number of players does not. That's because I need to put my team name field into context. And what that does is it makes that filter apply before my level of detail expression calculates. So if I now go to the Castleville Tigers, you'll see it reduces it to 350. So now it's counting correctly. Okay, so if I go back to my dash, back to the dashboard now, I can go ahead and remove these other three 
um, sheets. Again, I, I like to try to minimize the number of, of sheets in the view. Okay, so we got something like that. It looks like she probably had the big numbers a bit bigger. So let's do this. Let's make these like 20. Good enough. Okay, there we go. All right, so now <clears throat> if we select a team, you'll see we now have a highlight action, but my number of players did not update. Well, that's because we haven't put the action filter into context as well. So let's go back to our total number of players and you'll notice this action on the team uh, is not in context. So I want my action filter to also apply before the level detail expression counts. So I need to add it to context. And that goes back to Tableau's order of operations. So if I go down to, uh, if I just Google uh, Tableau order of operations, <clears throat> and I go down to the, their knowledge base. What you'll see here is when I, when I have my uh, fixed level detail expression, which is this part right here, um, this part right in the middle, you can see context filters happen before my fixed level of detail expressions. So it's really important that you get familiar with the level of detail or the uh, order of operations. Okay, so now I can actually delete the rest of these sheets uh, I can now uh, update the title. So I could say uh, use an LOD, oops, to show the number of marks. Okay, something like that, you get it. But anyway, so now if I deselect a team, um, I can pick a different team, Wakefield Trinity, and if I lasso these players, you'll see that gets well, it goes back to 382. Well, that's because we have a different action now because we had an action on the there's Lorna had also set up an action on this um, uh, the scatter plot. So we need to go ahead and oh, wrong sheet. I need to go to my total number of players and add this one to context as well. Okay, and now it says 12, which is the number of marks we have selected. And this is, I'm gonna select three marks and it goes down to three players. Okay, so that's it. It's just another method of creating a, um, a counting marks in a view using a level of detail expression. The uh, level of detail expressions are sometimes much easier for people than understanding table calc. So I wanted to give you an alternative there. And uh, thank you to Lorna for her tip last week, and she'll be back next week with her tip. All right. Have a great day.